O Lord, hear my voice. I have called to you, by, be my help. Do not abandon or forsake me, O God, my Savior. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first book of Kings. After the death of Naboth, the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Start down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, who rules in Samaria. He will be in the vineyard of Naboth, of which he has come to take possession. This is what you shall tell him. The Lord says, after murdering, do you also take possession? For this the Lord says, in the place where dogs licked up the blood of Naboth, the dogs shall lick up your blood too. Ahab said to Elijah, have you found me out, my enemy? Yes, he answered. Because you have given yourself up to doing evil in the Lord's sight, I am bringing evil upon you. I will destroy you and will cut off every male in Ahab's line, whether slave or freeman in Israel. I will make your house like that of Jeroboam, son of Nabat, and like that of Basha, son of Ahijah, because of how you have provoked me by leading Israel into sin. Against Jezebel, too, the Lord declared, The dog shall devour Jezebel in the district of Jezreel. When one of Ahab's line dies in the city, dogs will devour him. When one of them dies in the field, the birds of the sky will devour him. Indeed, no one gave himself up to the doing of evil in the sight of the Lord, as did Ahab, urged on by his wife Jezebel. He became completely abominable by following idols, just as the Amorites had done, whom the Lord drove out before the children of Israel. When Ahab heard these words, he tore his garments and put on sackcloth over his bare flesh. He fasted, slept in the sackcloth, and went about subdued. Then the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Have you seen that Ahab has humbled himself before me? Since he has humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his time. I will bring the evil upon his house during the reign of his son. The word of the Lord. Our response. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. 
Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Turn away your face from my sins and blot out all my guilt. Free me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God. Then my tongue shall revel in your justice. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. I give you a new commandment, love one another as I love you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard, it, heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemy, and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes his son rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Lord We're getting sophisticated in the setup now, right? (laughs) That's a tall order from Jesus, isn't it? Be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. That's like... It's impossible. I'm sorry. Let's, let's, be, let's be honest. It's, it's, there, there's only been two perfect people in the world, Jesus and Mary. And she was only perfect by a special grace of God that shielded her from original sin. Hello. It, come on, Jesus. You're, you're asking a lot of us, right? And yet, no, he's not. He's, he's, he's ask, actually asking something of us that is, that is quite possible, that is quite achievable. To be perfect like he is perfect. He's asking us to be members of his body. See, we are perfect in Jesus Christ. He perfects us. He makes us perfect. Because he is perfect, and because we are members of his body, we become made perfect. So it's, it's in Christ Jesus. It's in our God that we are made perfect, that our failures are atoned for, that our mistakes are made up for, that our, fail- that our, that our sins are forgiven. My brothers and sisters, it is in Jesus Christ, it is in our Lord and Savior that we are made perfect, like the Heavenly Father is perfect. So don't despair. Don't give up on yourself because he hasn't given up on you. What he's asking of you, what he's calling you to do, is to try to make the attempt to, to reach as far as you can. I love the Sistine Chapel, the, the, you know, at the creation scene, right, with, with God and, and Adam. Uh, um, that was Michelangelo, right? Michelangelo did that. What he did there was was so brilliant. The the way he shows God reaching as far as he can, like like stretching. And then there's Adam going, "Okay, dude, whatever." You know, like his, his fingers all. He's just like, eh. But God, God's like, you know, like, Ugh. do what you can. 
Try as hard as you can. Do. Make the effort. God will take care of the rest. Jesus Christ has already taken care of the rest. My brothers and sisters, He loves you so much that He died on the cross for you, for your sin. It's been made up for. The perfect sacrifice, the unblemished lamb has been sacrificed for us. Unite yourself to that. Remember that when you want to beat, your, when you want to beat yourself up with that guilt, when you want to lay on layers of shame, He's already taken that stuff away from you. Don't take it back. My brothers and sisters, Christ has done the heavy lifting already. You just have to try. And when you try, when you, when you make those efforts to, to try and not cuss so much, to try and be respectful to the people around you, the people you live with, to, to try, that's all he's asking of you. And it's in the attempt. It's in the effort you place that he makes you perfect. That he perfects you. That he lifts you up in his resurrection to the kingdom of heaven where we're all called. So my brothers and sisters, you are worthy of God's love because he gives it to you. You are worthy to receive the love of Jesus Christ because he says you are worthy. He makes up for our unworthiness. He makes up for the lack. He bridges every one of the divides. It's in him that we are perfected and made children of God, heirs to the kingdom of heaven, it's in him that we will sit at the right hand of God in the throne room at the wedding feast of the lambs. My brothers and sisters, let God love you. Please stand with me now as we offer God our prayers and our petitions. That believers everywhere seek the Eucharist with greater faith, reverence, and desire. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the earth and the whole universe echo the beauty and love of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who live lives of loneliness and despair find comfort in the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That fathers, especially those who have buried a child, be strengthened and nourished by the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That these followers of Jesus become more like him through frequent reception of communion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Kateri J., who is being especially remembered at this Mass, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. We offer all of these prayers through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of us. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Be with Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. For through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy Holy, holy, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord. Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, 
As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, the world, have mercy on us. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Holy Father, keep in your name those you, you have given me, that they may be one as we are one, says the Lord.
Let us pray. As this reception of your holy communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please join with me now and say the prayer of St. Michael. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruined souls. 